now. <clears throat> so today's, today's objective is proportions. Proportions. So just a little bit about proportions. A proportion, make sure you get this down. A proportion is two equal ratios. Two equal ratios. For example, A over B is equal to C over D. So those are two ratios, and they are equal to each other. Another thing about proportions is the cross products are equal. So let me explain what that cross products. The word products means multiply. So if you were to multiply across crossways, that means A times D would equal B times C. So cross products are equal. That's what that means. Cross products are equal. And that's a big key to how to work with proportions and solve proportions. So they're two equal ratios and the cross products are equal. Alright, so example one. Solve the proportion. So here's the proportion. 75 over 1.5 equals x over 7. I have two equal ratios and I want to solve for that missing ratio. So I'm going to use the cross product. And I have my calculator handy. So we're going to do the cross product. 7, seven times 75, that's 525, and 1.5 times x. So what is 1.5 times x? 1.5x. So now I have a multiplication equation. It's been a while since we've done equations, but hopefully you remember. We want to get x by itself. So in order to get x alone, we're going to have to divide both sides by 1.5. And when you divide both sides by 1.5, we're going to type in 525 divided by 1.5, and we get 350. So that means x is equal to 350, and now I have two equal ratios. Let's do another one. 2 over 1 is equal to 11 over x. I'm going to do the cross product. 2 times x is 2x. 1 times 11 is 11. Now I have to get x by itself, so I'm going to divide by 2. And 11 divided by 2, you can type in your calculator, is 5.5. So let me go back and review one more time. We cross multiplied, and then you divide. So step 1, you cross multiply. Step 2, you divide to get x. Okay, example two. Um, you try. Solve these two proportions on your own, just like we did in example one. You cross, multiply, and then you divide. So solve these two, pause it, and then press play when you're ready to see the answer. Alright, so we're going to do the cross product. 1.5 times x is 1.5x equals 15. Notice I bring my equal sign down. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 1.5 and x equals 10. So that means 1.5 over 3 is equal to 5 over 10. Let's do another one. I'm going to cross multiply 6x equals 36. Oh, this is an easy one. 6x equals 36. We divide both sides by 6. And x equals 6. Which means our ratio, 6 to 9, is equal to 4 to 6. Two equal ratios. I hope you got those right. All right.
So we've got some real world examples for you. Here we go, real world example three. 100 nautical miles equals about 115 standard miles. So let's talk about a nautical mile. Do you know what a nautical mile is? If you don't know what a nautical mile is, then look it up on Google. I know what it is, but maybe you can figure it out and you can tell me tomorrow. Equals 115 standard miles. How far in standard miles is 156 nautical miles? So this is a proportion problem. And you might have a method to figure this out by doing something on the calculator, but let me show you how to set up and solve a proportion. So we're going to draw proportion lines, draw your proportion lines, and you're going to use that ratio. The first ratio I gave you, 100 nautical miles, is equal to 115 standard miles. So I'm just using my ratio, just like in a double number line diagram, you use your ratio. The other piece of information left is this, 156 nautical miles. So now where do you think you would put the 156, on top or bottom? You would put it on top because you got to keep your nautical miles together, and that would be your F. So now you would cross multiply and divide. So you would cross multiply 100x, 115 times 156. And then you divide that side by 100. And this would equal 179.4 standard miles. So 156 nautical miles would equal 179.4 standard miles. So I took the ratio 100 to 15, 100 to 115, and then I put this on top because I have to keep my nautical miles together. All right, so example four, another real world problem. It says to bake two dozen cookies, yummy. To bake two dozen cookies, you need two and a half cups of flour. To bake two dozen cookies, you need two and a half cups of flour. How much flour for 60 cookies? So again, we are going to set up a proportion. And I know I'm going to be comparing cookies to cups of flour. So I'm just putting my labels on. I'm comparing cookies to cups of flour. But do you notice anything about the cookies? Right here we have two dozen, and right here we have 60. We have to make those in the same units, so you have an option. You can convert two dozen to individual cookies, or you can convert 60 cookies to two dozen. It doesn't matter to me which way you do it. I'll convert 60. Um, no, I'll just do this. Two dozen. So if you have two dozen cookies, how many is that? That's two times 12, so that's 24 cookies. So to make 24 cookies, I need two and a half cups of flour. To make 24 cookies, I need two and a half cups of flour. How much flour for 60 cookies? So 60 cookies would go on top, and flour would go on bottom. The X doesn't always go on the bottom. That's just where it's gone. So you're going to cross multiply, and we get 24X equals 2.5 times 16, 150. And then you're going to divide both sides by 24. So 150 divided by 24. So you're going to need six, two cups of flour, or six and a cup of flour. Typically when you cook, if you've ever looked at a recipe, they usually give you things in fractions. So like two and a fourth, or three and a half, or three fourths. I wonder why. I don't know. But typically, on you know, a the recipe, they're in fractions. Hmm. Interesting. Right. 
So this last one is a U-Tron. Four ounces, whoops, four ounces of orange juice contains 50 calories. About how many calories are in 14 ounces of orange juice? So I want you to solve this one on your own, pause the video, and then press play when you're ready to see the answer. So the first thing I do is I put four ounces with 50 calories. Four ounces with 50 calories. About how many calories are in 14 ounces? So I put that on top. And then you are going to cross multiply. And you get 4x equals 700. 50 times 14. And then you divide both sides. And x equals 175 calories. Alright, so I hope you got that correct. We're going to practice more proportions tomorrow in class. And I'll see you tomorrow.